Hi, I'm Layla, a product manager here at FlowHub. Today, I'm going to be showing you some best practices for setting up your 420 deals. To start, you'll see here that I have some 420 deals established. I'd recommend putting 420 in front of any deals that are only going to be available on 420 or during that 420 week. So it's very obvious to your bud tenders which deals they should be looking to add to the cart. In addition, you have the ability to either mark a deal as inactive or select a start and end date on a deal in order to make it only available for 420. Of course, I recommend testing these deals ahead of time. So if you wanted to do that and you had an inactive deal, you could go ahead and press edit here, here make the deal save as active. And then once you're done testing it, save the deal as inactive again. So it's only going to be available on 420. Alternatively, you have the ability to set a start and end date on a deal as well. So we can see here on this deal, I only want it to be available on 420 and on the day after 420. I can go ahead and press edit here, scroll down to this time frame section and select this restrict by date option. This is going to allow us to have a start date and an end date on our deal. A few other things we have available for you in deals to really help your 420 operations is going to be to set up a 420 bundle. This is a group of items that you are going to sell underneath one SKU. So in this example, if I go ahead and press edit on this deal, we'll see here we have the ability to set up a bundle deal type. I can add a bundle SKU and that can be generated. And when you press save on this item, you can print as many of these SKUs as you want. As I scroll down here, you'll see that you can add as many items to this bundle deal as you want, and any of the included items will show up here. In this example, I'm going to be selling that high time soda with a package ending in 4324, an eighth of Blue Dream, a Sativa cartridge, all underneath that bundle, and I'm going to give that bundle to my customers at a price of $25. If you wanted to limit the uses per transaction, you could do so, require a minimum subtotal, um, etc. Finally, we have a new feature available for you, and that is exchanging loyalty points for deals. In this example, I'm going to be giving my customers a free t-shirt if they spend 50 loyalty points on that t-shirt. The way you set this up is the same as how you set up a regular deal, cart, product, buy, get, or bundle. But as you scroll all the way to the bundle, you'll see a bottom section here for purchase deal with loyalty points. When I select this, I can go ahead and put in a cost of 50 loyalty points, meaning that when a customer exchanges 50 loyalty points, they could get this t-shirt for free. I hope these best practices will help you guys on your 420 and I'm looking forward to seeing all the creative deals that you set up.